Hello, love. I don't talk like that. Hi, welcome. I'm going to show you the adapters that I've made for portable monitors. These are VESA to quarter 20 or quarter inch is the very common thread for both photo and video equipment seen with audio equi uh, equipment as well. I have four different adapters. So these are designed to work with portable monitors. Portable monitors typically have uh, HDMI micro and they have USB-C power or USB-C with display alt mode, which means you can pretty much power this 17 inch monitor with a single USB-C cable. I like, I don't really do portable gaming. I like using these for camera rig setups or for adding small monitors to gaming setups. Put some pictures here on screen, but if you buy one of these products, this is what you're getting. I just want to show you kind of how these work. So this is the Uperfect, um, I can't remember the model number. It's this model. This model specifically has 75 millimeter VESA as opposed to this model that has only two screw holes. I haven't yet seen a 100 millimeter VESA on a portable monitor. I do have an adapter in case that ever comes out, um, but most likely you're going to be dealing with 75. And if you're considering a purchase, I'll show you why you might want one of these depending on the monitor that you have. Aside from the bubble mailer, which I'd love to find a replacement for, I try and use as much recyclable uh, shipping materials as possible. So the shipping material is just cardboard and I use a laser to cut everything out. So the first thing you're going to see is step one, pull out this tab. So when you pull this tab, this has some more instructions on it, but uh, this is all going to be out of cardboard. So um, if you have any like shavings or like specks of cardboard that's on the product, I apologize, but the planet thanks you. Step one, pull. You did it. So as soon as you pull this, it's now trash. That's all that says. And then pull the thumb screws out of each corner. So every adapter already comes with the thumb screws that you're going to need for mounting it to your monitor. So you can either unscrew these or just pull them out. If it helps, you can kind of push on them from the outside. This opens up and the adapter comes out. On all the monitors that I've tested, eight millimeters of M4 thread has been the perfect threading. It means this adapter has enough plastic to be thick and sturdy, and then there's enough threading to actually go into the monitor itself. Put your thing in place, and easily enough, just screws in. In all the videos that I've done on this so far, arm of choice is a small rig rosette arm. And the reason I love these is because on the end here, it has these two little pins that prevent uh, whatever is being mounted from rotating. So those are, I can't remember the exact name, but they're, they're safety pins. I have little holes for those safety pins on each of these adapters. So if you wanna spend $15 on an arm, right, that doesn't have the safety pins, you can. These arms are 35, but it is the most sturdy arm that I've used. It has these locking teeth that lock it into place, and each of the ends has these rotating quarter 20 threads so that you don't have to spin your item to mount it. You can just spin this. And it has these holes here so that you can stick an Allen wrench in there and really tighten it if you want to. So it's more money up front, but for a better user experience. That screws in. Like I said, if you have an Allen wrench, you can put it into those little passages there and tighten it up even more. And then whoop, look at that. So that's the four hole version. And if you happen to have a monitor that has a two hole version, the first one I designed, look at how greasy my fingers are. <laughs> the first one I designed, this one is the offset model. So the mounting hole for the tension arm or the friction arm is below the holes that actually mount to the monitor. Cause most likely you're going to be, you're going to be mounting the monitor horizontally. And so this means, so this means that the pressure of the mounting arm and the pressure of the bracket being held to the monitor aren't on the same plane. It just makes the part a little bit stronger. Some models I've tested with, this lip here is a little bit closer to these mounting holes than I would like. And so that's why I made this skinny version. So it was just more low profile, but again, that mounting line is within is, is on the same plane as the M4 screws. Now, if this back part is super long and you wanna just have everything symmetrical, this is the fat, so this is skinny, this is fat. Again, these all do the same thing. They're just different shapes depending on the monitor you have. And then if for some reason you got a 100 millimeter VESA on your, on your mount instead of 75, uh, this is just a bracket that supports both 75 millimeter and 100 millimeter, and that's it. I just wanted to have a video that kind of demoed and, and showed why you might wanna pick one over the other. That's all I got for you. Good night.